Alright guys, what is up Loot Games there? and today we are back on our expert mode playthrough after all this time. I've been planting Moonglow seeds, I've been getting loads of other things as well and of course we did kill the Plantera. Now this has taken me about, what, two, two months, about three, two months maybe? I don't even know. Basically, no Plantera spawners were spawning in my world. Now, they might have spawned in these areas that I didn't explore, but I really wanted one to spawn up here near my arena, so I waited and waited, and waited, and waited, you sort of get the drift, I waited a long time, and then by the time one spawned, two actually spawned as well, so we can find another one if we wanted to, but basically what I did do was I use my flamethrower, and I use my Uzi, and the Uzi's not really a very good shout, but I mean we used it anyway, we also used uh, the golden shower but yeah you'll see that at the start how i destroyed planter i did get very very close to dying at some parts but we did manage to scrape through it somehow and we did manage to kill plantera so today i'm very very hoping well i'm hoping that we can go against golem but also when you kill plantera it also opens up the uh, expert or hard mode dungeon. Not expert mode dungeon, but the hard mode dungeon. As you see, I've got 495 health as well. It'd be lovely to get one more life fruit to finish that 500 life, which would be amazing. So anyway, here we are then, and we're going to go over to our jungle biome. Once we're over there, we'll try and find our jungle temple because we haven't actually found it yet. I was meant to actually go around and find that, but I'd left my Xbox on for so long, so many days, that I just, I don't know, the game just was getting to me and I just didn't want to play it because of the reason I couldn't find a Plantera and I just could not find it at all so I'm very very stoked to be able to find it today and yeah I'm hoping like I say uh, that the golem won't be too hard I don't know how go hard golem is in expert mode any videos I've watched online uh, he seems to deal some deadly damage in his final form and just before his head comes off because uh, of course he starts doing rapid lasers like really fast so that's when you really need to be sort of vigilant and watch out that he don't attack you like crazy. Because he can go absolutely bonkers. And he really can. So I'm going to try and record as many expert mode videos as I can. Of course, I've got my Ranger playthrough as well. And then, yeah, I've got I've got a load of tutorial content coming soon. So thank you guys for sticking around and waiting. And, and like I said, waiting out for the content. It's been so long since I posted the expert mode playthrough, but it's been amazing. Ah, I'm so glad to be back here. I'm really excited. Really, really excited to do this, but don't underestimate, because I've been playing normal mode. I can't underestimate expert mode, because it's very, very hard still. And I mean very hard, even though we have all very good gear. One thing that I do want to go find is uh, we need to go explore the dungeon. Can we get uh, some moth wings, maybe? They'd probably be better than leaf wings, wouldn't they? Probably would. And we did. We got the butterfly dust. I think we got butterfly dust before, though. But, yeah, we need to go grab uh, some souls of flight for that. I believe it's only souls of flight you need. I have no idea. I can't remember. But, yeah, we have been playing a lot of normal mode recently, like I say. And that's... It, it's not a problem. It just... Well, normal mode's easier, isn't it? So, I underestimate things. But we're not actually that far into that. We're only on the actual start at the minute pre hard mode we're almost heading into hard mode i think we've got skeletron to defeat and queen bee which is quite a cool fight it'd be very nice to get the bee's knees as well on that because of course it's a range of playthrough there we go but no the plantera spawned in a very beautiful position i think plantera spawned up here somewhere i can't remember it was somewhere here and then i all i did was led her down to my arena in which i easily killed the plantera seriously i don't know i wouldn't really say easily because there was times where i almost died but you know what i mean you generally know what i mean i bet you guys are getting so bored of looking at the jungle biome because you spend so much time in the jungle biome and i was thinking about actually editing a lot of the footage out but it sort of takes away the sort of it take, takes away the beauty of a let's play doesn't it it takes out a lot of the beauty of a let's play in my opinion i don't know that's just my opinion anyway but yeah, we probably should take this ammo box with us so that we get... Because we are going to be using the Uzi against Golem. I think it's going to be a great weapon. We have 814 bullets. And if that runs out, then we do have a backup of a flamethrower, which uh, isn't really going to do much damage. But 
We do have a backup after all, which is quite cool. There we go. Awesome. We've got the ammo box then. Shall I pick up this as well? I mean, two mines. Do, do we take it or not? I mean, it's going to... Yeah, it's going to give us more life, isn't it? At the end of the day, we are going to get more life from it. So it's definitely going to be worth it. Right, can we put that in there? We can. We do have butterfly dust then. Any materials I can put in here because this is like my material section. I don't know why. I should probably get rid of these armors because I don't need them. I need some mannequins, which is made with sawmills, I think. So if we can go to a sawmill and make some mannequins, that'd be awesome. Uh, we also need to get rid of them. Maybe get rid of this accessory. I don't know why that's in there. We do have a campfire ready to place down when we're there. And we also have the heart lantern now, which is great. Fantastic. Fan Dabby Dosha. So let's take this one as well. And when we do get like later on in the game, in expert mode, I do want to fight another Plantera with sort of like um, more better gear and see if we can fight her even well, with better gear. Obviously, we're going to be able to fire with better gear. But you know what I mean. So, right. We're going to put torches on right so that I can see properly. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So, let's take a look where we're going to go. Where I, I think it's somewhere around here. I've got this feeling that we're going to find it around here somewhere. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mine straight down and see if we can find it. Because, trust me, it is a massive place. A huge place. And I mean... A huge place. So we're going to go ahead and go down now. I don't know why it stops mining sometimes. There we go. It stopped mining. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, it stopped mining again. I think uh, my controller's actually broke. And that's why it stops mining. Wait a minute. I've already killed tons of queen bees. We don't need more. But is this actually another spawner? The bees do more damage than what the queen bee actually does. I'm not going to lie. Let's... Uh, there is another spawner in here as well. <laughs> Let's just kill it for the lols. Let's kill it for the lols. Here we go. Ready? We're going to go bup, bup. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to sit under here. We should just be able to tank her no problem. Let's get her up a little bit. There we go. Come down here. That's it, Queen Bee. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're not actually hitting her though, which is the problem. Bit of a problem. Not much of a problem. But we're doing a lot of damage. Put that. Put it that way. Come on, stay still. Stay still for like two seconds. All right, let's just, let's just golden shower her. There we go, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we did get some bottled honey there as well, which is awesome. Great, 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 great. Let's uh, get the honey on the track. I tell you now, the bees do more damage. The bee, honestly, the bees do more damage than what the actual queen bee does. It, it's mad. Madness. It shouldn't be that way either. Right, so we have explored. Are we explored to the end of this? That's what I want to find out. <laughs> I forgot that we had a super speedy. <laughs> no, we haven't. Oh, my. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I forgot we had to. <laughs> it has guns on as well. That's the best thing. See, that's what I love about this mode. It has so many different things. Oh, man. I love this. I love it. 1.3 is just amazing. <laughs> Of course, you can only get that in expert mode. The mechanical cart thing. So much fun to use. So, so much fun. It's one of my favorite things to actually use on this mode. Of course, it's super fast. Not only is it super fast, but it's also super efficient because it shoots enemies. Yeah, my controller's definitely broke. <laughs> Smash like button for a, for, for a brand new controller armor, do sir. Don't freeze me, please, because I'm quite low on life here. I'm quite low on life. There you go. You're done for. You are done for. Did she drop anything? I mean, I need to get rid of some of this stuff, really. I don't know why I've got so much stuff in. I should have opened up my treasure bag, and but I didn't. And let's get rid of the cobwebs. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Not too fussed about that. Is that a, I thought it was a chest. I was like, is that a chest? Is that a chest? Nope. The chests are actually in a nice little uh, encased area. So, yeah, we're going to keep mining downwards and see if we can find this beautiful thing. I think next time as well, we're going to explore the dungeon. But this time, we're going to really look out for for the... I was going to say solar eclipse. Oh, we can summon in the solar eclipse, can't we? Ah, oh, yes. I need to get some life. They're beautiful. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's keep mining down. Let's, let's do that. Boom, done. You're done. You're done for. All right, something to our left, but I don't like the look of it. Go. We've got some chlorophyte all there as well. Beautiful. 
All right, let's uh, get the Keen Drax back on. Continue down here. Ooh, okay. Have we got anything in here? That's very nice as well, because that's led us on straight to... Here we go. Ah, okay. Not nothing, nothing spectacular, really, is it? <laughs> Not at all. Willy the Traveling Merchant. Is right. Is there anything else that we can get from the Traveling Merchant, though? That's the... That's my query. Probably not. Oh, I love the lasers on that thing. Right, there's a chest there. Should we get that? Let's go up here. Such weird spawnings. Hey, we have precise flower boots. Someone said to me, I wish I could get flower boots. Somebody wanted flower boots. I don't know why. I don't know what the use of them really are. Can you use them to make the frost spark boots, maybe? I don't know. No idea. Lightning boots, even. We're probably going past loads of chests. I'm pretty sure I just saw one. But we're mainly looking for the jungle temple. That's what we are looking for. We're not we're not too fussed about the chests. Because there's going to be loads of chests around. There's nothing we actually need from them. I mean, it'd be nice to find maybe a turtle pet. Turtle pets are quite cool. Hey, there's our last, last life fruit as well. Beautiful. Okay, let's get rid of the vines. Because vines are useless at this point. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our life fruit. Yes, we got max star life. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. There we go. I was thinking, <laughs> you know, uh, this is probably a really bad idea. But I was actually thinking of making Terraria song parodies. Or Terraria song parodies even. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you love it was like a massive song by Kanye, Kanye and Lil Pump. And it was like really popular. And everyone was making parodies of everything. Like from it. So, oh, teleportation project. I love those things. Do we get them? And just use them. Should, should we just use them? Yellow it. Whoa, what? Don't. Sp okay. Uh, it spawned us in the dungeon. I didn't really want to be here. I really wanted to find. Yeah. You know what? You know what? While we're here, actually, let's open up my treasure bag. I've got a wild spore sack. What does that do? Summon spores over time that will do damage. Oh, wow. I didn't know you get that. I'm so... I, I didn't I didn't know what the special thing was for that. You know, let's get rid of that. So we can pick up our other stuff as well. We've got the... We've got a load of... We've got a pygmy staff. Yes, we've got a temple key. Oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Because there's so much things I want to keep now. We've got a pygmy staff, though, which is beautiful. That's, that's amazing. The pygmy staff is one thing that you do want. Really... You do really want it. Okay. So, we can get rid of... Well, I don't really... This is, this is the thing with me. I don't really want to get rid of stuff. Let's get rid of muskets. Let's get rid of... Oh, we got the axe! We got the axe as well! Dude, do you get all the... Wait. Do you... No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. In expert mode, do you get every drop? Because I'm pretty sure there, I've got every drop. From Plantera. Almost. Not not every drop, but most drops. I've got the axe. I've got a wild spore sack. Right. I'm going to get rid of the silt blocks because they're useless. I've got a deranged pygmy staff. Okay. It does, like, similar damage to... The optic... Wait, it's the optic... The optic staff looks better. I don't know why. Right, we can get rid of the bottled honey because we're not going to use it. And we're not going to use the hive either. And we've got a wasp gun as well. What? That's insane. No, guys, that's just mad. What even? Dude. We just got really lucky to get the axe there. Which means the axe is, um... That's the pwn hammer is a hammer and an axe, isn't it? Is the axe a hammer and an axe? Hammer power, axe power. Hammer power, axe power. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's awesome, then. <laughs> no, actually, that isn't a hammer, is it? We can get rid of the pwn hammer now, though. Oh, no. I hate the necromancers. Expert mode necromancers are super strong, trust me. They are super... They, they will tear right through you. Right, let's get rid of the pwn hammer, then. Seriously, guys, they just tear right through you. Okay, cool. I'm so... I'm still shocked that we got the axe. First time. First time. Madness. Absolute madness. I find that insane. I, I, I well and truly find that insane, guys. 
I, I, I just can't even. I can't even. I've either got really lucky. Wait a minute. That's a rare painting, isn't it? Let's take it. Let's take it. Just in case. Just in case. Why can't I take it? Right. Blood Moon Rising. There we go. It might not be rare necessarily, but you know what I mean. It's rare enough. Rare enough for us to take it. But we did get a Plantera Trophy. We got loads of stuff from Plantera. It's insane. Insane. Why is that gone? Oh, yeah, because we swapped it with our axe, didn't we? There we go. Let's just do that. That seems good. I don't, I like all my things being a mess so that I can sort... <gasps> bone leaves, bone leaves, bone leaves. They can be deadly. I don't want that to get up here. That's one thing I need to keep below. Because bone leaves are deadly as anything. And I mean that, guys. Whoa, that's a new mob. What's that? I don't know. Whoa, all these are new. They're 1.3 ones. Ah, dude, they're all new. They're 1.3 enemies, and I, I don't know half of them. I haven't formed any 1.3 enemies, you see. Okay, let's uh, take... I'm so happy that I got light disc. The so light disc has been beautiful. Be absolutely beautiful. There we go. Okay, let's, let's go up here again. When we went up here, they seem to all spawn in. Yeah, see? Armored bones. Take you down. There we go. It's pretty useless getting the... What do you call it? Well, actually, no, it wouldn't. I was just thinking. It's pretty useless. Getting... Oh, what? What is it? The Master Ninja Gear. Yeah, Ninja Gear. Ninja Gear, Master Ninja Gear, or the Black Belt. Because all that does is allow you to dash. But I was thinking it does give you a, a few seconds of invulnerability to enemies. So, I mean, it is useful still. It's just not amazing. The Necromancer is another. When you've got, like, these... When you've got these, the Necromancer is another. We've only got one in as well. Because it looks like one's despawned because it's been uh, 10 minutes, hasn't it? We are missing out on a bunch of bones, though. Which might come in handy. I may drop something for bones. Can we drop anything for bones? Marble block. We can, we can always get marble blocks. I just feel like collecting the bones because they might come in handy at one point. Oh, there's another bone, Lee. There we go. Let's see if we can fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's ninja. Ninja damage, dude. That's insane. And it just disappeared without dropping anything. Fantastic. <laughs> wow. I, I, I'm just, I'm still shocked. I am well and truly shocked. What are they? Are they the uh, explosive ones? What actually? I'm trying to read its name, but I don't want to get blown up by it. Yeah, Striker Commando. They're the explosive ones then. I understand now. That makes a lot more sense. We've got a lot of water candles. This is a very nice place to farm because there's a lot of water candles around. There's uh, entrances from above and below. And it looks very nice. Why are we still in here? We need to go back to the jungle and get back to what we're actually doing rather than doing that stuff. I still, I'm still stoked that I got the, the axe the first time on my expert mode playthrough. I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's a 100% chance to drop, get that as a drop. Because we've got the pygmy staff as well as that, which is amazing. Oh, no, not the bone leap. They are deadly. Deadly as anything. I forget that I can temporarily, like, dash to, to, towards them. They don't drop bones, but they're called bone leaves. They don't drop bones, but they're called bone leaves. Oh, no, tactical shotguns. The tactical shotgun ones can be deadly. Let's just keep it at bay. Lovely. Ooh, he dropped his SWAT helmet. Very nice. We're getting everything. We're getting one thing after another, and I want to keep that as well. And I can't keep it because I want to keep everything else. <laughs> this is why I should put stuff away, like my fishing gear. I should pull that away so I'm not full of junk. You know what I mean? And like crate potions, which is technically fishing gear. Uh, I don't know why I don't put it. You know, I should do that. And then what we're going to do is, you know, let's kill this last one. And then let if, if we get... Let's have a look. We're going to get the... No. Okay, we didn't get what we want. All right, let's just destroy this one. Because we need to collect ectoplasm regardless. Uh, so that we can make uh, spectre bars. Ooh. Ooh, did these drop? These might drop something nice. I don't know. I can't remember what these things drop. I know the blue the blue armored bones are the ones that drop the light source, though. I think it's the light... I've, what is it actually called? Wisp in a bottle? I believe it's wisp in a bottle. That's the one... Yeah. Let's just... Because uh, we haven't actually explored all this yet. Let's see if we can find the vampire knives. Let's have a look. 
Can we find vampire knives? Which I'm not going to be able to open them anyway, but, but you know what I mean. Can we find them maybe for the future? Very nice. We've got a Splunker potion there. Not that we can take any of it. Teleportation potions would be beautiful, but I don't know if you can only get them from chests. I'm not too sure. There we go. Awesome. Let me know as well if you could, if, there, if there's any rare paintings. Because I remember a very, very long time ago, I had the Waldo painting in my world. And I didn't know how rare it was at the time. I'm pretty sure it was... Was it the Waldo? No, not the Waldo. There's this painting that's quite rare. And everyone was, everyone was like, dude, you literally missed out on one of the rarest paintings in the game. I was like, did I? Don't leave me alone. Don't beat me up. <laughs> oh, there, there's our shadow key. We never did get a shadow key either, did we? I feel like taking that as well. Uh, what can we take it for, though? Uh, I don't, don't want to get rid of anything. It's just me. Oh, why Why do I take so much junk with me? Tell you what, let's get rid of the mud. I can always get mud blocks again. Mud blocks are always there, so I'm not going to miss out on them. I'm not going to miss out on anything, hopefully. We need to buy some more torches as well. How big is this dungeon? Dude. Maramossas, torches. Get a bit of everything in this place. Look at all, I love how they're stacked up there. It's like mana potion, healing, mana potion, healing, <laughs> or heart, uh, life potion, life recovery potion, whatever it's called. Are they called heart? Yeah, healing potions. I know what I know what I meant. You guys probably didn't know. I love the twins. The twins are amazing. Or the other twins. You know, you know what I mean. These twins here, not actual twins. I think this is by far. The biggest dungeon I've ever had. Ever, ever, ever. Like, literally. And I kid you not when I say that. And I've been through a lot of dungeons. Been through a lot of dungeons. And this place is huge. It just keeps going on. And on. And on and on and on. Oh, these enemies are strong. Okay, then. I don't like the look of that. Not one bit. Oh, they're blowing me up. Blow me up. Yep, he's using his rocket launcher. Oh, there we go. Oh, we didn't drop anything, no. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> yeah, money. I love those things. Money, money, money. I love money. We got 10 gold from that. I love the pot of money. I think I missed out on one of them. Oh, look at all the enemies. So many. Let's put that there. Let's get back to light discs. What any of these can drop, what I want to find. Wisp in a bowl. Come my way. Nope, no wisp in a bowl there. Got more blue armored bones here. Wisp in a bowl, please. I'm going to die if I'm not careful. Let's just heal up. And boom. Yeah, no wisp in a bowl for me. Let's just uh, get... Oh, no. Skeleton commando could be very, very strong. Oh. And even though we haven't got a wisp in a ball, at least we've explored more of that. Bonely. Bonely, bonely, bonely. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Oh, that damage is crazy. We keep. Oh, there's two bonelys. Tell you what. Let's get a Nimbus rod here. Nimbus rod there. Boom. And that's how it's done. That is how it's done. Maybe put the Nimbus Rod. Should we put the Nimbus Rod here? So it rains down on them. That is beautiful. Might not be doing the amazing damage, but that is actually beautiful. And as long as we can get it bouncing off the sides, we're all good, baby. Oh. I'm going to die if I'm not careful of this Dark Caster. Is that a, oh, that's a Necromancer. No wonder. Oh, I almost died there. No. Don't kill me, please. Thanos, don't get... No, nope. They're so strong. Oh, my. Why are my twins stuck back there? Twins, get in here. Oh, no. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Boom. I'm gone. I don't even care if anything was on the floor. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of there. <laughs> Nurse, heal me up. Heal me up, please. Nurse, Catherine. Catherine. 
Catherine, I need your assistance, Catherine. <laughs> I need healing, Catherine. <laughs> Catherine! Okay, let's get rid of all of our fishing gear anyway. We'll shove it in here with all of our fish. Right, fishing gear. Fishing. Oh, it's because it's unfavorited. Don't matter. It's unfavorite that, unfavorite that. Fishing gear, fishing gear, fishing gear, fishing gear. That's also fishing gear, technically, because that you use crate potions when you go fishing, don't you? So, yeah. We've got a brand new SWAT helmet as well. Let's have a look what that looks like. <gasps> that looks amazing. That looks so cool. The die looks so cool with that. I don't know about you guys. I really like that. I really like that. It looks like I've got a flaming head. <laughs> that looks awesome. That does look good. I do like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. <laughs> and I don't like a lot of things a lot, but I like that a lot. All right, we're going to keep hold of the angry star valve just in case we need to swap back. Temple key, we're going to use to open the temple because it's our very first one. The wizard hat we can get rid of. And... The wild spores, summon the spores over time. That might come in handy one day. I don't know. Now, the pygmy staff, is it better than the twins? I don't know. We'll go reforge it anyway because we've got loads of coins. Is that a platinum we got? Yeah, we've got a platinum there, which is awesome. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Reforge. Let's reforge our pygmy staff. Nope. It's costing two gold each time. Taboo. Slow. Damaged. Unpleasant. Yeah, go on then. I'll keep unpleasant. I'll have the unpleasant one. Now, I don't know whether to... Do Do I... Which one do I use? Optic staff? Or unple or, or uh, pygmy staff? Which one do I use? Because do pygmies do more damage? I, I really don't know. I guess the only way to find out is to test them both. I guess we could have one of each summoned in, but I feel like two pygmies would be like the perfect, the perfect match. Oh, this goes so well with my unicorn as well. I need to dye my unicorn as well. And by that, I mean like dye it with color, not, not like literally dye it. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. We have had a good time today. I can't believe we've finally be beaten Plantaria. It's been so long, and I'm so happy and stoked to get back into this series. It's so good. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Please don't subscribe. Stay frosty, and peace.